this is a nice patch of big blue stem and uh, uh, it's one of the components of our our, uh, our longleaf pine savannas. Uh, little blue stem is also another component. But this plant today lends itself really well to um, some discussion on how we graze our native grasses. Because it's a bunch grass and, uh, and it, it's native, it's ancient, it's been here for who knows how long. It's very acclimated to this system and it's, and it's productive. So how we try to manage our cattle in a way that enhances the, the health of the plant community and the soil health on the savannas is we do rotational grazing, which means the cattle come through and they defoliate a certain amount of this plant. And then we move them on to another pasture, just like all rotational grazers and intensive grazers do. Uh, we move them on to another pasture and we allow these plants to regrow the grasses primarily because 94% of what cattle eat is grasses on the range. So um, the way to use this grass in an optimum condition, and there's no such thing as pie in the sky in a rangeland situation, so it's a real world. So sometimes you, you don't always necessarily exactly follow <laughs> you know, the, the perfect things. But the right way to do this, the right way to do this, to enhance this grass and enhance soil quality and to have optimum uh, cattle performance or whatever your grazing animal may be, is to leave them in a pasture long enough to where they use about one third of the height of this grass. And it turns out that the top one third of this grass is the most nutritious part of the grass. And uh, in fact, Dwayne Rice was with us. Uh, he's a great uh, gr grassland ecologist. And he said that the top one third of this plant is, 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 the, uh, is the cream. And the next one third of the plant is the milk, which is good. And the bottom one third of this plant is the milk carton. You're not gonna get any weight gains on cattle with the bottom one third. So what you want to do is, is run your cattle through a pasture and it'll vary in time depending on the size of the pasture and the number of cattle there. But you want them to defoliate about the top of all of this stuff, about one third of the top of it. And, uh, and for sure not more than about half of the plant before the cattle move off of, the, off of that particular pasture onto another one and allow this to regrow. Now these are solar panels, so um, <clears throat> if we remove one third of the top, we've still got a lot of solar panel left to continue to grab energy. And when we remove the top one third to one half, root function continues to operate 100%, to work 100%. And so this is essentially your manufacturing facility, so to speak. So you want to take care of it and keep it in optimum um, production. And to do that, it's just very important that you don't overgraze it. Uh, and, and when the cattle come back to it, they've, it's had an adequate rest period where it's, it's actually regrown back to its, its maximum height at that time. Now all of that affects the root system. It's kind of a pulsing thing. The cattle defoliate the top regrows and then the top deplenishes the roots. So it sits there and fires through the year. Back and forth is the way I think of it. So what happens is you have a maximum biomass production above and below the ground within an annual period. And that is as good as you can do on utilizing a natural system for your, your production, which is your grass.